Hi guys, it's me Obed, and today we will see how we can build a rag system with PDF files, uh, which will work on all the PDF documents you have. You just have to upload it, and rag will be built uh, ready for you. And it will be a complete Next.js web application. That means you can uh use it for your own purpose in the local system you have or you can deploy it for other users in your organization or maybe uh as a startup also right okay and before that i want you to know if you are working on any custom project you can let me know in the email or the whatsapp and we can build something together okay and you can visit out the website also okay let's uh start what we have right here yeah so let's dive in with the demo first and then we will see how we can set up the exact same system with the next js and the flask so what i have to do is choose a, a document uh, which would be a pdf format so i am choosing this one and i will open it in the uh, browser also just to show you what is in the document I will open this and you can see it is now the selected document I can submit it so let's submit and it will redirect me to a different page which will allow me to chat with this document so it's all set you can now chat with uh, this document you selected so I can now ask anything about uh, this document and my queries will be answered specific to this document rather than GPT-4 or LLM own knowledge uh, on which it was trained, right? So in the document, it is a work plan about a project and uh, I will ask something about the methodology adopted for the project so here i have mentioned i am a great fan of agile so i will use the agile development for this uh, project so let's see if our llm or our rag system uh, is able to grab that so i will say what is the methodology uh, whatever uh, for the project and I have misspelled the spelling yeah so if I click on submit it is now being processed in our flask server you can see here we have that document name that means we are processing that document and we have our answer so methodology adopted for this project is the agile development exactly what is mentioned here and something about sprints so scrum with the sprints and we have this okay i believe we are getting everything for the project let's query one more thing i will just go to yeah uh so i will ask about the functional requirement let's say so i will just say what is the first functional requirement let's see what we get now yeah first functional requirement for the web base application SaaS aim to streamline the generative company's registration flow that's exactly what is the first requirement okay so i believe this is working fine now let's dive into the process of how it is all combined uh through the next years and the flux so here we are in the uh vs code and all the code will be available in the description there will be a link about it feel free to check it out uh, so here is our flask server we have initiated on this port 5000 this is the default port for flask and our local host uh, 3000 is serving the next js application 
okay uh what i will do is show you the key components uh, which is required to build the project and then you can replicate it for your own use case because i believe every use case is different from one and other and um, moreover you can download the source code and grab the source code and you know uh, mold it in your own requirements uh, pretty simple what we are doing here is uh, accepting a file as the input type will be obviously file and on a change uh, whenever we change something with that element I am initiating a function which is handle file so I am just uh, setting the state of the file variable uh, this one here to the actual file which user selected so handle file and the selected file is provided by the event uh, this is the core concept of the JavaScript uh, like whenever you have the own change on uh, some element it provides you with event and e dot target dot files uh, with the array of uh, the first one the zero index uh, we will get our file so I am just setting that file to the set file and I am even uh, console dot log uh, that means I am printing down in the browser that what file the user has selected then I am just uh, setting the name of the file because I will sending it into my uh, flash server okay uh, and the button when we click on submit it will initiate a send file uh, function it is a async function that means we will be doing a post request to our uh, flash server this is the flash server link the first request we are doing is the build rag that means and if we see our uh, flask api also so here is the flask api build drag is here what it's doing it is accepting the uh, file which user has selected printing its name uh, we can see the name here this one and it will save that and then it will convert that document into embeddings using files uh, after converting it it will just give you back the file name uh, obviously I don't need it because I can grab it uh, from the uh, this uh, JavaScript also the next years also but uh, I am just using it as uh, indication that my embedding is ready now I can push the user to the chat with PDF uh, flow or the web page where uh, uh, he or she can chat with the documents they have so we have this and I believe if I want to keep it open yeah so in this uh, page this is uh, the page this one we are talking about so it's all set you can now chat with we can see we have right here yeah so it's all set you can now check with and the file name is coming from uh, this file name as a parameter uh, uh, URL parameter okay so when we click on uh, submit and uh, the text area has some value then we are uh, initiating a function send query and this query is this function this is also a async function that means we will be doing some api request here and we have to await for the response to come back in the form data we have the user query whatever user has written that means this query and in the file name uh, whatever the file name because we want to know which file to query in our flask server right and the user query is uh, just printed out here 
uh, process request is we are sending the form data to the handle query of our server uh, this is the route for handle query we are accepting file name user query and then LLM is initiated and it will answer to uh, that query uh, with the help of the reference material provided so this is the prompt which is the acting as a rag uh, uh, if we think about it on the higher level so here is the reference material and we are asking it use it only if it's help uh, to respond to the query otherwise uh, you know we don't need in the uh, answer right so user query is this related docs which we have found through the similarity search uh, on the files index we created in build drag this one and this will be stored locally as a uh, pickle object or the files object uh, with the exact file name we have uh, mentioned and then we are just saying uh, LLM to invoke the prompt and we are sending back the LLM answer to our next year's application here we are grabbing that LLM, LLM answer as JSON and we are setting the state of LLM answer through this state variable function uh, which is using view state hook so here is here is that uh, use state hook okay I believe uh, you have now the overall idea how you can replicate the same approach to build a full-fledged reg application which will be uh, modifiable or moldable to every use case uh, you can found for the reg so this uh, is the user query we are even uh, you know uh, uh, printing it out in the uh, browser console and the file selected was this one right so first query first answer second query second answer okay i believe uh, i have made uh, the demo clear and you can uh, check out the source code in the description and all the links are available in the description you can uh, check it out and if you are working on any custom project feel free to uh, reach out through the email or the whatsapp and we can talk about it okay i believe uh, this is all for now i'll meet you in the next video thanks for watching